Dark streets and dangerous situations. Robbers keep targeting Georgia Tech students as they walk late at night. We've told you about seven robberies around the Tech campus just this year. And Atlanta's police chief says Georgia Power is partially to blame for the crime because street lights are out and the roads are dark. Fox News Morris Diggs took that claim right to Georgia Power today. Morris, Georgia Power admits the chief may be right in this case. Well, they do admit that. You know, the last time that there was a crime wave out here in the Home Park community a couple of years ago, it was dark out here. Well, January, early, early February, another crime spike and still dark. To Chief Erica Shields, it doesn't make sense. And she placed a 911 call to Georgia Power for help. Under cover of darkness, thieves thrive. The residents who live in the communities bordering Georgia Tech know that. You know, there was a holdup right here on Atlantic just the other day. So, I mean, lighting would certainly help. His name is Christian. He shouldn't have to make lifestyle adjustments for what many of you wouldn't give a second thought about. Like when and where can he walk the dog? Lately been walking him uh, in the early evenings and we never go, you know, past 14th Street. We usually keep it around the block. And why do you never go down there? Well, because it's pretty dark. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too dark, huh? It's too dark. The Atlanta police chief is trying to respond to seven armed robberies in a span of 30 days, with the home park community just north of Tech getting hit hard. When you're looking at it on TV, it's poorly lit. Why is it every three or four years we, we come back and say, hmm, why is there poor lighting? Well, I had uh, Major Shearbaum today speak to Georgia Power. I just, I can't wait. You know what I mean? It just needs to be fixed. But we heard the chief's frustration and decided to take a look. Only some of the lamps are operating. The power company received a help call from the police department. Well, in that home park area, are most of those lights Georgia Power lights? There's a mix across that area. Some lights, I understand, are maintained by Georgia Tech, others by the city, and others by us. Our crews also looked and, and uh, determined any lights that weren't working properly, made some repairs over the weekend, so we should already start seeing some, some improvements, uh, but then there'll be more to come as these new lights get installed. Now, responding to the city, Georgia Power is going to pay for putting up additional street lamps in a 12 to 13 block area around Georgia Tech. Now, what the company has to say as far as taking responsibility, they say, look, we've got to be told by the customer, and that could be in this home park community or in your own community. Bring us a list of lights that are out, and we'll come respond. That's their position. Reporting live from Home Park, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.